Today we face a very challenging situation in the cybersecurity industry. Despite decades of innovation in our fight against malware and vulnerabilities, the security of our networks and computer systems is worse than ever. In fact, the reality we face today is that virtually every major organization is under an almost persistent state of compromise. The number of companies that have disclosed their um, um, intrusions um, are dwarfed by the numbers uh, of companies that have faced successful intrusions and have hidden them. What accounts for this dire situation? Well, it's really a change in the threat landscape. Today, the number one threat that organizations face is not a cyber criminal, is not a hacktivist, although certainly these, um, uh, these attackers are still very predominant in, in, this, uh, in this industry, but it's nation states, it's intelligence agencies, it's de de uh, defense uh, departments. They're going after us with billions of dollars in budgets, thousands of people, and incredible technical innovations. And the reality is that they present a very fundamentally different challenge from a cyber criminal that we've tended to face up till now. These are not opportunistic attackers that don't care about a specific victim and will get easily deterred by uh, a range of defenses that you can put in place and will frustrate them and allow them to move to an easier target. These are targeted adversaries that will worm themselves in through all the layers of defenses you have, no matter how many obstacles you put in their place, because what they want is so important to their national security or economic security. In fact, our entire focus in this industry has been completely misguided by the focus on the technical tool, the, the tools that these adversaries have used against us, the malware, the vulnerabilities, the command and control channels that they've used, and that's really not the problem. The problem is the adversary. That's what we have to deal with. Someone is coming after you for a particular reason, interested in your intellectual property, your trade secrets, your national security information. They have specific tradecraft, they have specific interests, and by focusing on that problem, can you actually deal with, with, the, with the fundamental problem as opposed to trying to deal with the symptom of that problem. I have started CrowdStrike to focus squarely on the adversary, to utilize intelligence and attribution capabilities in our cloud-based big data platform to ad identify target attack groups operating and sponsored by governments all over the world, China, North Korea, Iran, Russia, India, Pakistan, a variety of other countries that are engaging in, in these sorts of activities. By focusing and identifying who the threat actors are, what they're interested in, what is their tradecraft, the organizations can fundamentally change their security paradigm from being passive and uh, uh, fo focusing on a whack-a-mole strategy of defending against everyone all the time to tailoring their limited defenses and uh, adjusting their capabilities to actually ri raise the cost and risk to the adversary. I'm Dmitry Alperovich, and I'm co-founder and CTO of CrowdStrike. Thank you.